Any business? Okay. It is um, an honor and a privilege to be here with you this morning. And um, Linda, thank you for that introduction. Um, and I'm, I'm going to take a minute and return the favor. Linda said that during her remarks that she is no bureaucrat. And I am here to co-sign that statement. <laughs> and let me just give you one example of the tenacity and advocacy of Linda Hammond for those in Arizona who desperately need the life-sustaining support food. As she is responsible for distributions to our food bank, it came to her attention under very good information that one of our providers wasn't getting the food to the people in need. She verified that information and took it upon herself to go to that provider and take our food back <laughs> to get it to those folks who need it. Now, when this came to my attention, I was, I immediately had sort of two different thought processes. One was, wow, what an amazing commitment. And also, instantly was, oh my god, she put herself in, herself in harm's way. Did you know something? That wasn't what was important to me. What was important was that life-sustaining food and ensuring that it got to the Arizonians that he had. That's not a bureaucrat. That is a caring, compassionate human being who knows that there are others in need and that she has a role to play in helping to meet that. <laughs> Linda, it is my honor and privilege to work with you in serving all the players on this team. Big enough to solve this issue for Arizona. 
but together we are. That's why coming together, convening today as a whole body, as a whole feeding network, is how ultimately we will be able to solve this problem. And so that's why I wanted to make sure that I was here today and to encourage you in your work. I know that as you're doing your day to day, sometimes it seems just overwhelming. That there is so much need. How could we ever need it? But days like today, what you need to take from this is that you're not in it alone. It's that you have partners and collaborators and friends that you all stand on each other's shoulders. The power of this network is bigger than hunger in Arizona. And so what I encourage you to do today is to share together, learn together how we can in Arizona fight hunger together. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Director Carter. Well, next, we have a treat for you. Uh, for some of you, he needs no introduction. But for others of you, I will introduce him nonetheless. Um, for this morning, uh, we have a very special speaker uh, who's here to talk to you, here to uh, perhaps motivate you a little bit, uh, get you excited about everything that Director Carter just mentioned. We are here to fight hunger together. Uh, this man is uh, just a wonderful guy, someone who cares passionately about the community that he lives and works in, in Yuma, Arizona cares about those struggling with hunger, living in poverty, wants to see their lives improve. Uh, he's been just a tremendous asset in addition uh, to the Food Bank Network here in Arizona. Uh, so without further ado, I will introduce you to President and CEO of the Yuma Community Food Bank, Mr. Mike Ivers. Thank you, Mr. Simpson. Keep it fresh, baby. <laughs> so, as many of you who know me are well aware of the fact I'm no better than anybody else, but I do try to make